Hey kiddos, it is Mrs. Wheeler again. Today we are going to be focusing on color in our lessons. And just like last time, I would love for you to share your artwork with me and I will be sure to email back if your parents or you send it to me. Let's go ahead and get started. Hi. So like I said, we are gonna be focusing on colors. But the colors that we're gonna be focusing on are separating our hot and cool colors. So, for cool colors, or otherwise sometimes called cold colors, we have purple, blue, and I happen to have two shades of blue, and green, and I also have two shades of green. So these will be all of our cool colors for this video. So you'll wanna go ahead and separate and pull out all of your blue, greens, and purples for your project as well. And we're gonna be using markers for this project. If you don't have markers, that's totally fine. Just use what you have. But there is an additional step that we'll be doing that will only work if you have markers. Next, we need to pull out our warm colors or our hot colors. And that's gonna be red, orange, yellow, and pink if you have it. If you don't have pink, that's fine. You can just use the red, orange, and yellow. But since I have two pinks, I might as well use them, right? So I'll set those aside separately as well. So we are gonna be doing a moon and sun. So I will start by just making a big circle in the middle of my paper. From there, I just wanna make a line outside of it to kind of separate so I have half and half on my paper. And I'm also going to create a line in the circle to separate my moon and sun. So this is gonna be kind of like the nose of my sun and of my moon. From there, I'm just gonna be drawing an eyeball. And notice, I am drawing all of this in pencil to start because sometimes we make mistakes and that's totally fine, but I just wanna be able to erase it if I make a mistake. I'm gonna draw a little eyelid and some eyelashes. and the iris, that's just kind of like a circle, and then another circle and another. So I know that this part of my eye will get colored in. So I'm just gonna kind of shade it with pencil, but I'll go back over it with marker later. And then I wanna put little bitty eyelashes on that. And now I'm gonna draw the mouth down here. Just kind of draw some lips that come in. My son is going to be smiling like that. Then from there, what I want to do is draw the moon side. Now, the moon, you think of coming up at night. So I'm going to draw my eye closed like the moon is kind of sleeping. grab a different pencil really quick. Okay, so I've got my eye, like I said, and I'm also gonna draw lips on this side as well. Also smiling because this moon is gonna be happy that he's getting a nice nap in. So then from here, I'm going to, on my sun side, I wanna draw lines coming out. So they're going out from the circle of the sun off to the edge of the paper. And notice they're kind of in a diagonal, almost as if they were coming from a center point, like right here, coming out. That way we've got kind of like rays coming out of our sun all the way around. And then on the moon side, we're gonna do something a little different and we're going to continue this circle. So if I would start about this far away on there, I would also end about this far away on the bottom. And I'm just gonna continue that circle. Oh, whoopsies. See, this is why we use pencil because I accidentally made that line come a little too far in. So I'm gonna go like this so that I can end where I made that point. And then I will want to erase out that line. Oopsies. 
This eraser isn't working too well, but let's hope that your eraser works just a little bit better than that one. There we go, this one's working a little bit better. Good enough, we'll go ahead and color over that later anyways. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna make a little line where I wanna start and a little line where I wanna end. And I'm gonna continue that circle. And I'm just gonna keep going, but now it's to the point where it's off the page. So I know that I'm gonna have to start probably right here and end about right there. Like that, and the same thing, coming out a little bit further. Out here, I'll probably end about here. Making those lines as to where I want to start and end just really helps me to have a better plan. And now it's gonna end and just go off of this corner. So that way I don't accidentally make my circle too big. And these ones are a lot easier because they're not as long. And I do the same thing going from here to here. But since these are shorter, I don't need to make those plans up. Okay, so now that I've got that, that is all that we'll have to do in pencil that we will um, Sharpie over. Now this is important this time that you do have a permanent marker um, if you're using a marker because otherwise when we add water later, um, the project will bleed. So we don't want that to happen. So make sure that you're using a permanent marker or either a colored pencil or a crayon. Do not use like the Mr. Sketch markers or your Crayola markers. It has to be something that will not spread when it gets water on it. So what you'll do from there with your permanent marker is outline. And like we talked about last time, outlining is when you trace over all of your pencil lines with black. So I'm outlining all of my pencil lines. Notice I am taking my time so that I can get as close to the actual pencil lines as possible. I mean, right here, you can tell I missed my pencil line a little bit, but I'm just doing the best I can to stay as close to my pencil lines as possible. And that way later, I will have a little bit less erasing to do as well. And again, like I said, I know I want this part colored in black here on this eye. but I shouldn't be coloring in any big spots on my sun and moon. Just little teeny spots like that. This part I have to go extra, extra slow on because if there was a part where I was going to accidentally stray from my pencil lines that I'm outlining, this would be it. So I am just going extra slow to really try and make sure that I'm staying as close to those pencil lines as possible. And like I said, if you accidentally go off of it a little bit, that's okay. We're just doing the best we can, and then we will erase any mistakes later. Not a big deal. There, now we're done outlining, and like I said, you will go ahead and erase any pencil lines that are showing that you do not want on your paper. Oops, look it, I missed a line right here. So that happens to you, that's okay. Just grab your marker again and make sure to get those lines.
just brush those eraser marks off my paper. All right, so now that I have my drawing done, it's time to color. And like I said, we're gonna be using warm and cool colors or all the otherwise known as hot and cold colors. So again, your hot colors are red, yellow, and orange and pink if you have it. And these colors are thought of as like hot. Like, you know, you look, think about the sun or when it's warm outside or fire, those warm colors. And then we have our cool or cold colors, green, blue, and purple. And that's what you use for those. And I think of um, like snow or ice or nighttime where it's more cool or cold out to represent those colors as well. Or sometimes even water can be cold too. What I'm gonna do with those is I will take my marker and I will color in these areas. Now I know that I'm gonna be blending these with water. So I'm gonna leave a space here because I wanna blend my two darker colors. So do you see how I colored in this part and I colored in this part? And now I'm gonna switch to my darker blue and fill in this inner part. Like that. And then how that might look like over here is maybe I want to take my red and trace around the edge of this shape that was made. Whoopsies. And I can make it double thick if I want. And then on the inside, I'm gonna grab a different hot coat, like pink, and color that in. Now it might just look kind of silly now with those two colors not touching each other, but when we get to the next step, it'll look good. And I'm just gonna continue doing that all around so I'm on the sun side so I'm using hot colors Oopsies. doing the same thing except for this time I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna use maybe yellow and you can use whatever combinations you want on your paper now, if you aren't using markers, you will just want to color these whatever colors you want. You can include patterns in them maybe because you won't be able to add the water and blend them together. But if you have markers, go ahead and do it this way so that we can do the nice cool next effect. Um, then maybe on this one, I'm gonna do my greens. So I'm gonna do my lighter greens near the edges of my circle. Same thing over here. And then I'm going to switch to my darker green. And you can blend your colors however you want. Like I could put my green with my blue or my blue with my purple. Doesn't matter as long as you have your cool colors on this side and your warm colors on this side for your sun and your moon, okay? But you can blend the colors however you want. And you'll just keep on going until you have your um, all of this full and filled in like this. So maybe I'm gonna color my eye solid. But then I'm gonna take a little bit of the red and just come around this inner part of the eye. Okay, and then um, for the rest of the sun, what I think I want is to just put um, one little ring of orange around the edge. Trying to stay on my sun side here. And then trace over this stuff with orange too so it'll stand out. But then the rest of the sun, this main part, 
I want to be yellow. So I'll color that all in yellow. Because once we blend this, I still want it to be mostly yellow with just a little bit of that orange kind of coming in. I'm gonna pause the video right here, and then when you come back, I will have all of this colored and ready to show you the next cool step that is gonna take your markers to the next level with some water. But like I said, if you are using crayons and not marker, then what you would wanna do is just color these all in solid with crayon or color pencil, whatever you're using, or maybe you would wanna use some patterns like stripes or polka dots within your pattern, your um, spaces as well. But if you're using marker, you wanna be sure to do this method on this side where you go around the edges and fill it in with a different color. And then you can blend colors how you want. They could be in stripe patterns or light and dark, as long as you're using more than one color per circle around the moon and only using those cool colors. So like I said, when you come back, all of this will be colored. All right, now for this next step, now that we have this all colored, so hot colors on this side, cool colors on this side, and notice we have around the edges um, colors and then a different color filling the insides, and then these are blended um, colors on the outsides to colors on the inside. So that word blended that I just used, that's what we're gonna do, and all you need is a brush and a little bit of water. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna kinda go over it all. And I don't wanna use too much water because I don't want them all to go into each other's sections. But I'm just gonna kinda blend where the colors are meeting and go over it a little bit using my water. I can go in kind of circular motions if I want to really get that color to blend a little bit more. Now, if you don't have a brush, what you could do is dip your finger in the water and just kind of rub over those areas as well. It doesn't work quite as well, but it does still give us that blend, you just might have to be dipping your brush or your finger, I mean, in the water a little bit more often to get those colors to blend like that. And you're just gonna keep on going till you've done this to all of your sections. all of them. I will post a picture at the end of this video of this complete, but if you have any questions about blending, feel free to email me and I'll include that email at the end of the video as well. I look forward to working with you next week or the following.